On this video, we're going to learn how to manage your trades table. The trades table is a table right here located either in your dashboard or on this view as well, on the trades view. It gives you uh, all the list of all the trades that you have placed in the past here. Now, what can we do with this table? Okay, the first thing you can do is you can organize a table by any row that you have here. For example, uh, here I see my trade from 2018, but I actually want to see the trade that I made recently first. So if I want to do that, I click one time here, and then it's going to organize this table based on the parameter that I'm giving, which in this case is I want to organize this table by the open date. Now, the cool thing about this is that any settings that you apply here right now will be shared across all your devices. So for example, if you're viewing a, your trades table from your smartphone, either from the app or from the web or from another computer, all these things will be shared immediately with any other device. Okay, so that's one thing you can do. The other thing is that perhaps a, you don't wanna see the status here. A, you, wa you want to have that on the right because um, maybe that doesn't mean too much to you. So you can drag and drop this and then put it here where you want it to, right? Now, maybe a, the entry price and the exit price are meaningful to you or you simply don't care about those. So if you wanna take those out, what you have to do is I click on this gear icon. This gear icon is gonna show you a list of all the um, possible columns that you can add to this trade table or possible columns that you can take out. In this case, I want to take out the entry price. So what I have to do is I uncheck this box here because it says entry price here on the left and then uncheck the box for entry price. So I have to uncheck those and then I click save changes. Okay. So the trade tables will reload and then it will take out those two columns. Again, these two columns will also be out from any other device that you share this account with. Now let's assume a, you perhaps want to see a, another set of columns. So to see another set of columns, you click on this gear icon and then here you can see what columns are available. For example, uh, you want to see my net return, my whole time, um, and then my close time, okay? What else could we add? Open time. So you could add as many things as you want here, then click save changes, okay? Then all the columns will be added here in the order that you selected them. And then maybe not, depending on your screen resolution, all the columns might not fit into the view. So here you're gonna have a scroll where you can scroll to the right or to the left to see your information. Now, you can start then organizing your trade stable uh, in, in a way that means more to you. For example, uh, again, I wanna put a status on the left and then I put, a, put a, the open time on the left as well, right? Because I wanna see it on next to my open date. So now I see my open date, my open time, and then I wanna see then my whole time next to a, my return. Now my net return, I wanna see it next to my return. Again, the net return, the difference from return and net return is the commissions, right? In this case, it might be the same because I have not yet added commissions into this trade. So it will be the same. And then the close time, I want to see it maybe uh, right here next to the open date. All right. Now you can see here that the status is kind of hidden here. So again, that's probably because you have to scroll to the left. Okay. So you scroll to the left here and then boom, you have it right there. Okay. So this, again, the settings will be shared across all the your devices. Uh, you could do the same thing if I go here to the trades table. The difference on the dashboard and on the trades table, it's a tra tra trades table, I'm sorry, it only have the trade table. It doesn't have the side widgets, okay? So it allows you to fit more information in it, okay? So here you can do the same thing. You can drag and drop the um, columns wherever you want to, where you find it more meaningful to, for you, and then uh, you can select on which columns you want to activate. Now, the columns that you activate on this screen are not gonna be activated on the dashboard. So they're separate, okay? Okay, I'm just gonna cancel here. 
and then go back.